Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of The Civil Canadian. I am Scotty V. Now, E3 is this weekend, obviously because today is Saturday, and I think it already started yesterday, but nothing major came out. So, what I'm going to be talking about is some of the superhero games that should be announced, or some gameplay we should be seeing from these big major game studios. Now, before we talk about those things, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss a thing, because a lot of you guys on my subscribers list do not have that bell on. Shame on you, you should have your bell on. Um, so, with that said and done, let's get on to today's video. All right, the one major thing I wanna be talking about today is Marvel's Avengers and their War for Wakanda content, and possibly the reveal of Spider-Man in Marvel's Avengers. Now, before I get onto those topics, I'm gonna be talking about WB Games. Okay, so WB Games Montreal announced last year on D or uh, uh, Fandom. I was gonna say D23. My God, uh, in Fandom 2020, that they're gonna release Gotham Knights on or in 2021 this year, which never ended up happening. They ended up delaying that game till 2022. So basically, if you don't know what Go Gotham Knights are, they are uh, a game developed by WB Montreal, which did this or which are the same company that made Batman Arkham Origins, which if you haven't played that game, it's great. That whole uh, trilogies of games are amazing and you should go check it out. Now, they, I'm assuming they're gonna show some more gameplay footage. We did get a whole bunch of gameplay footage back in 2020, but we should possibly get a full reveal on more of the story and what's going on and why Batman is dead. Because a lot of people are confused if Gotham Knights are connected to the Arkham games. Because in those games, spoiler alert, if you haven't played it, too bad. Batman is dead and uh, it kind of follows the same pattern. But it's set in a different universe from what I understand. But who knows, they can eventually connect everything. The next one is Rocksteady. Um, they are developing a Suicide Squad game. I don't know why. I, I honestly don't know why they need a Suicide Squad game, but we should be getting a gameplay footage of that game and possibly release date on that. Um, basically, that game is set in the Arkhamverse, so anything done by them, I'm, I'm hyped for. They hooked me on right on um, Arkham Knight, or Arkham Asylum, they got me. Um, so, it'll be pretty interesting to see what else, <clears throat> what else they have... Um, in store for us so now let's talk about other things that are that are going to be possibly showing up at e3 2021 uh square enix will be doing a live show um so apparently they're going to be working on a new gardens of the galaxy video game we don't need a gardens of the galaxy movie or game 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 um because why we don't need it we have we have friggin Disney Infinity, we have the little figurines. I have them all except for Yondu. Um, you can play that. You can play the tell, uh, Telltale games for the Xbox and PlayStation. We don't need a Guardians of the Galaxy game. We need another Spider-Man game. We need Marvel Spider-Man 2, which I hope they announce in E3. And we need to know what's going on with Marvel's Avengers. Okay. With that said and done, Guardians of the Galaxy, if they announce a great... Am I excited for this game? If they do a reveal, 100%. Anything Marvel DC, I'm hooked on because I'm a nerd. Let's just put it that way. Um, so, with Marvel's Avengers, it's a great game, okay? First off, a lot of people have been shitting on that game. It's a great game. Yeah, the mechanics are kind of weird and junky, sort of mocking Destiny and Anthem, which Anthem was a horrible game, by the way. But... I like it. Like the story made sense. I I can't stress enough how much I love a Marvel's Avengers game. Okay, I think I have more hours on Marvel's Avengers than I do on Marvel Spider-Man. So that's saying something. Now, they're going to be showing off their content and their biggest expansion yet for this game, which is War for Wakanda. Now, is this game dead? 100% not. Because if this game was dead, they would have not give us a War for Wakanda. They would just kill the product right there. But they are motivated and willing to give us more content. Now, should they have made this game a game of service? No. They should have made it an open world type like Marvel Spider-Man. Like The thing is, you're going to compare this game 
anything Marvel video games going forward, which is the Avengers Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, they can do a Fantastic Four game. Who knows? They're going to be criticized and compared to Marvel's Spider-Man. Just because Spider-Man is an open world and the story was great done by Insomniac Games. So it's going to be interesting to see. But like I don't know what else to say. Now back to Marvel's Avengers. They should have done an open world game. They could have done what they did with the Lego game. Have different... Like what they have now with the War Table. They could have just had like... Um, uh, they could have had New York open world. They could have borrowed something from Insomniac. Because listen, look at Marvel and and or Disney and Sony. They're working together, so now they're sharing properties and all that. They can do the same with the game universe. Now, would they do that? Hundred percent not. But what Marvel's Avengers and Square Enix should have done, they should have done that. But I understand they're they're more famous for the Tomb Raiders and their more confined area. So I get what they're doing now. Like I said before, is the game dead? Hundred percent no. They're giving us our biggest expansion for War for Wakanda, which should be coming later this year. I hope to God they give us a release date because soon, 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 soon. That's the word everybody hates because we don't know if soon can be in a few hours. We don't know if soon can mean a couple of days. We don't know if soon can be a couple of weeks. It could be a couple of years. Who knows? Everybody hates that word soon. Okay. When I have to order something online and they say coming soon. Or a movie coming soon. It pisses me off because I hate that. I want to know when it's coming out. So I can prepare myself. But obviously that's not the case with Marvel's Avengers. And I get it. It's not the developer's fault. And shit happens. And they got to figure out things. And there's people in big business suits out there. That are calling the shots. Because they pay the money. Right? So uh, yeah. Now. I hope they show some content for Spider-Man. With that said, I don't think they will. They are working on Spider-Man. Um, Andy and all the other developers of Square Enix and Crystal have been telling us through their developer live streams that they will be... Uh, Spider-Man will be coming soon eventually. We just don't know when. And obviously, because they're restricted on what they can and can't say, we don't know nothing about Spider-Man. Now, Spider-Man in Marvel's Avengers... Will it be Insomniac's version of Spider-Man? No. It's going to be a totally original Spider-Man. Which I hope they use the voice actor for Marvel Spider-Man. Yuri something. I can't remember these names. Um, but I hope they use him as a voice actor. But they're saying that Spider-Man is looking pretty cool. And he's going to be very cool to play with. And unfortunately for you Xbox guys and PC. Which I have the game in all my consoles. If they had it for Nintendo Switch. I would get it on the Nintendo Switch as well. But... For everybody who has it on Xbox and PC, unfortunately, you will be not be getting this character. I'm pretty sure they'll give some other character for those consoles. But I do have the PlayStation, so I do play on the PlayStation. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. They're going to show War for Wakanda. I'm excited for Black Panther. I believe this game was supposed to come... This expansion was supposed to come out much earlier. Spider-Man was supposed to come out March 2021, but obviously that's not the case. If I were to speculate, I think uh, Spider-Man will be coming out towards December time, towards Christmas. Just because the movie Spider-Man No Way Home, which is getting extremely overhyped because of all the multiverse and all that kind of stuff. Guys, you need to temper your expectations a little bit down because you're going to go in super excited. And you might get like either extremely blown away or extremely disappointed. Like uh, how I was with Endgame, I was super, super excited. But obviously, Endgame did hell up to its expectations. But uh, like I'm saying with this game, calm down. I understand you can't push these developers. They're working hard. You got to understand they, they, they have lives too. They need to relax and spend time with their family. But will they be showing Spider-Man in the E3? No, I don't think so. But I hope they do because I want to be wrong. I want to be excited to see Spider-Man because Spider-Man is my favorite. Look, I have Spider-Man right behind me. I have a couple of Spider-Man t-shirts. I have a couple of Spider-Man things I have here. I printed out a Spider-Man figure, 3D printed. I love Spider-Man. Spider-Man is my favorite uh, Spider uh, Marvel character no matter what. So, I don't think they'll be showing Spider-Man in the uh, press conference. But I hope to God they do. Uh, maybe uh, like a logo or something. I don't know. I, I just hope they do. I don't think they will, but I hope they do. So, with that said and done, Gotham Knights probably. Um, Suicide Squad pro probably. All these are a possibility. But what I know for sure, 
that Marvel's Avengers will be showing off, or Square Enix will be showing off, War for Wakanda. I'm super excited to play as Black Panther. The, the only time we've ever played as Black Panther was in Lego, Marvel, or whatever. So, with that said and done, I'm excited for E3 uh, Square Enix event and Warner Brothers Entertainment. So, with that said and done, make sure you leave a like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Be good. And if you haven't checked out my Loki review make sure you check out my look at review it will be somewhere at the end in the box comments or whatever make sure you check that out leave a comment if you've watched it if not we'll save that video for later and you know what guys be good and uh i'll see you on the next one